Good evening, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It's 9.10 in the evening on Wednesday, March 31st, 2021, the last day of March, before we step into the month of April. Let's look at the uh, current forecast around the world. And we will start out with the forecast for California. There's a very strong uh, risk here in the San Francisco Bay during the next, uh, well, this should read about the next uh, 36 hours or so now. So the highest risk is on April 1st. So a 5.5 earthquake is possible in the San Francisco Bay area during the next 36 hours or so. Uh, yesterday's forecast map showed the risk up here in Northern uh, California. We had a 4.7 up there. Now the risk is centered in the much smaller area right around the San Francisco Bay. So we'll see what happens there. Very high risk in San Francisco Bay during the next 36 hours. You notice that uh, the risk was here in Nevada and it was curling around into the Salton Sea area. Uh, and that area down here got a 4.8 earthquake. 4.7 further down, 4.8 right here next to Mexicali, which is just across the border, right here in the 65% risk area. And today, now this is coming into the first, into the second of April, we have this warning for San Francisco Bay. Let's take a look at the Alaska forecast. And this is the forecast through the 30th, and we still have that very high risk in the Anchorage area. This is through the 30th, uh, the 31st through April 2nd. That risk has moved a little farther south between Kodiak and Anchorage. Still looking for a strong earthquake in the Anchorage area during the next uh, 48 hours or so. And down in Chile. Chile, the risk is... Uh, Right now, this is the 31st to the 1st. So this is where we're at right now. Risk of the far south. April 1st to the 2nd, very quiet except for the far south. And then in the 2nd and the 3rd, moderate risk near uh, Copiapo and Antofagasta in the north. So that's uh, on the 2nd and the 3rd. And a pretty high risk down here, south and southeast of Santiago, Chile on April 2nd and 3rd. And Italy, our Italy forecast. There it is. All right, 31st, it's uh, actually April 1st right now. So the risk is building into Sicily right now. And on April 1st, the 2nd, across Northern Italy, where 4.0 is possible. And look at this, on the 2nd, April 2nd and the 3rd, so uh, in Northeast Italy, but most likely in the area of Croatia, we could get a 4.5 to 5.5 as possible in the Croatia area or Northeastern Italy. So watch for that, Croatia or Northeast Italy at 4.5 to 5.5 as possible on April 2nd to the April 3rd. And Japan's risk is, uh, building two offshore here on the April 2nd and the 3rd. Right now it is in the afternoon of April 1st, so we're getting close to this forecast warning for Japan on uh, just east of Tokyo, we should get something offshore about a 5.5 or larger. Significant, significant earthquake on April 2nd and 3rd, so keep an eye out for that if you live in the Tokyo area or even Sendai, the risk uh, is up there in Ibaraki, Fukushima, most likely east of Tokyo on April 2nd and 3rd at 5.5, 6.0 is possible. Right now, however, the risk is far offshore or to the west and uh, down here on April 1st, the risk is down near Miyazaki. But on April 2nd and 3rd, which is coming up quickly, we could get a 5.5 to 6.0 east of Tokyo. Okay, in the, in the Philippines, pretty quiet across the Philippines right now. And then on April 1st, it starts building in the north. 
And then, let's see, here we go. April 2nd and 3rd is when some action begins to take place in the Phil Northern Philippines, where a 4.5 to 5.0 is possible in Northern Philippines on April 2nd and April 3rd. Over in Greece, very quiet across Greece, except for the far southeast near Crete and the island of Rhodes. And the same thing on the first, first of the second, same thing. Second of the third, risk begins to build up into Albania, but most like uh, most of the risk is down southeastern Greece near the island of Rhodes and eastern Crete. Central America. And we have a risk, uh, this is the forecast right now. It's building in two, so here we are, the 31st and the first, this is where we are right now. So a 5.5 to 6.0 is possible in Southern Costa Rica or Western Panama during the next 24 to 36 hours. And then the risk diminishes after that and begins to build on the 2nd of April and 3rd into Guatemala and Honduras there. Guatemala mostly. So the biggest news, I guess, in the Central America right now is Southern Costa Rica and Western Panama were 5.5, 6.0 is possible. Indonesia, we have this, uh, it's the first over there now. So we have risk building into the Northern part of uh, Sumatra right here, just a, actually it's 40 to 45%, but then the risk increases on the second of the third and jumps to 60 to 70% in the north part of Sumatra on the April 2nd and 3rd, and you can get a 5.0 up in that area during April 2nd and April 3rd. And Seattle, Washington forecast looks like <clears throat> on the uh, April 2nd and April 3rd is the most concerning forecast here where uh, 4.5 to 5.0 is possible in southern Idaho. And in Turkey and the Cyprus forecast, most of the risk is over in the Iraq and southeast uh, Turkey. And this is the 31st of the first is where we are right now. Syria to northern Iraq and uh, eastern Iraq. And I believe today we got a uh, significant earthquake over here in uh, eastern Iraq, a 4.3, eastern Iraq, western Iran, 4.3. So the risk uh, during the next 24 hours is uh, in central Syria, where a 5.0 is possible, or southeast uh, Turkey, where a 5.5 is possible there. And then on the first and the second, northern Iraq is the high, very high risk in southeast Turkey. And still southeast Turkey and northern Iraq on the second and the third of April. A couple more maps here for you, Caribbean. This risk continues to be in that same area near uh, Guadeloupe, Dominica, and Martinique and St. Lucia over here. Uh, a couple of days ago, we mentioned a very high risk there. They got a 5.0. Now the risk is building back in here on April 1st, same area. <clears throat> First to the second, same area near uh, Martinique. And then here we go. On the second and the third, we could get another 5.0 to 5.5, maybe even larger. It's a very high risk area. Keep an eye out this in central Lesser Antilles from uh, Montserrat to Guadeloupe and uh, Dominica and Martinique. That's the highest risk area where a 5.0 to 5.5 is possible. And remember this could also trigger a volcano uh, if a volcano is active in that area. All right, one more forecast and that's New Zealand. We continue to have very high risk in the Christchurch to Wellington area. And this is uh, April 1st, to April 2nd. Same area near Christchurch, and the second to the third, still near Christchurch, 90%, and then Western uh, uh, New Zealand. So keep an eye on that in New Zealand. 
And let's go once more over to the, uh, the California forecast here. And there it is. Uh, looking for a 5.5 as possible in the San Francisco Bay Area during the next 36 hours or so. So keep an eye out for that. We've been getting some uh, <clears throat> uh, smaller earthquakes in that area today. A 3.3 uh, in the northeast of Salinas and a 2.5 in that area. Um, but anywhere from Napa down to Salinas, this is a very high risk during the next 36 hours. So if you're looking for a strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay during the next 36 hours. Thanks for stopping by today at uh, the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we will talk to you again uh, tomorrow. And God bless you and uh, talk to you soon. Be safe there in uh, San Francisco Bay and east of Tokyo. It looks like a strong earthquake, 5.5 to 6.0 is possible near Tokyo, um, April 2nd to the 3rd. Uh, keep an eye out for that. Stay safe, everybody. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.